A family in northwest Birmingham has nothing but the clothes on their backs tonight. Everything they owned was destroyed in a house fire Saturday night. WIAT 42 News reporter Michael Oder talked to the woman and her son who say they're just happy to be alive. Michael. Yeah, Lee. Jenny Cinnamon and her son Dylan tried to salvage what they could this afternoon, but they tell me that fire and smoke destroyed just about everything. She also tells me this is not the first time that a home that they have lived in has burned down. I don't know if this lo the Lord's telling me that I'm doing something wrong or he's got to be because, I mean, this is the third time this has happened to me. The third time a fire has destroyed everything Jenny Cinnamon and her son Dylan own. Sunday afternoon, Dylan walks through what's left of his room. I just got this couch, too. Just got it. Now the couch and everything else is either burned or beyond saving. Dylan and his mother had been living in the home for five years. They were renting it, hoping to own it. Yeah, only like uh, close to four years owning it. Now they're back to square one. Not much is worth saving inside the home. Firefighters worked to put out the flames Saturday night. Ginny and Dylan were playing cards at a friend's house when they got a call that the home was on fire. The state fire marshal's office is looking for the exact cause of the fire. The worst damage is in the back, in the master bedroom. Yeah, this is where all, we lost all our pictures and everything right here. Burned reminders of the holiday season. Ginny and Dylan are searching for more than just the cause of the fire. I mean, I'm glad I'm alive, you know. I am too. <laughs> I'm just going through this for a third time. It, I just I don't know what I'm doing wrong in life. Now, there is a GoFundMe account set up to help Ginny and Dylan. It's set for $500, the organizer says, just to help them get some new clothes and some food. You can find a link with this story at WIAT.com. In studio, Michael Oder, WIAT 42 News, coverage you can count on.